and we hear this a lot as well is, oh, you know what, I can't, I can't do CrossFit, I got a bad back. So, you know, I just kind of keep that isolated, you know, those tries and buys are going to be real big, but my back's, yeah, so I can't, no, no back for me. Um, it's very interesting when I hear people say that, and, I, and I'm very intrigued to hear what Wayne has to say about it. So don't mind have to cut me off on this one, but uh, this is going to have to come down to your definition of what the word health means. So if I ask, and I have probably 50,000 people randomly, short, fat, bald guy comes up to you on the street and says, what does the word health mean? You would say, most of the time it's how I feel or not, right? You only go to the doctor when you feel bad. The second you feel good, you stop. It's just how it goes, right? So we, we base our opinion of whether we're healthy or not on how we feel. Well, we know 100% of the time that that's not correct. It's all about function. We know that your brain controls every single thing that happens in the human body. And your brain is surrounded, your brain and spinal cord are surrounded and protected by your skull and your spinal column. 26 individual vertebrae, they're supposed to be in a perfect structure, three perfect curves. Right? If it is in the correct position, we you know your body functions at 100%, and it'll be one of those things that you just do not wake up one day, instead of, if you think about it, we die at 74 in the United States. That's the average age of death. You know people that make it before, you know people that make it left later. What is it you're gonna do to not end up dying early? What are you gonna do to not end up in a nursing home, on hospice, in adult daycare, under living your life? Sorry, it all starts now. You have to change the way you are taking care of yourself now. And this has to do with your back, most importantly, right? And your spinal column has got to be free of interference so your body can function like it's supposed to. And so when people say they have a bad back, well, it could be that it was just incorrectly positioned. And so you go and start to load it and do movements that um, you should be able to do, but you can't. And then it, goes out, right? Like Joel referred to, I bent over one day and picked up a five pound box and my back blew out, or I went to bed feeling great, woke up the next morning and couldn't get out of bed. This has to do with the fact that your body was weak, you were compensating, it was compensating for you for a long period of time, even though you were putting it through load, and all of a sudden, it goes out on you. And we have got to make sure that the structure of your body, that's why these guys teach you how to move correctly, you don't do squats with load with your back folded. You're gonna blow your back out. And that's just how it goes. So you got they teach you how to move correctly, and their utmost important focus is your structure is where it's supposed to be. Because if you do not move correctly, your back you are going to screw yourself up and blow discs, and, and then you're in trouble. Because as you understand, back surgery fails nine out of ten times in three to five years. That was the last thing you want to happen to you, right? So please, if if I could implore you to do anything, and if you've never worked out a day in your life, you've got to get moving and start taking your body seriously so that you can get to a point where you're functioning and feeling great, you're full of energy. And it just has to do with making a decision and getting off the couch and doing it.